Hey folks, this is Greased Scotsman. This Mero SDK level authoring tutorial will cover Zone Aggro and Spawn Force. Zone Aggro is a new component added to zones with zone links that makes enemies aware of the player. Zones created with the latest Mero SDK tools will automatically add this component when created. However, linked zones created beforehand will need to manually add the Zone Aggro component. Note that the enemy awareness provided by Zone Aggro only occurs if the player is in the current linked zone. Here's a short demo showing the differences. In linked zones that do not have zone aggro, notice how the player can fire a weapon right near the enemy and they don't respond. Now we'll look at linked zones with zone aggro. The player is currently standing in a zone that is linked to the one the enemies are standing in. Notice how they do not react to gunfire. However, once the player crosses into the zone with the zone aggro component, the enemies hear the gunfire and react from a distance. Ahead is a zone with zone aggro that is not linked to any other zones. We'll see the enemies pop in because the zone isn't linked to anything, but because the zone does have a zone aggro component, as soon as I fire my weapon, they respond. The next demonstration shows how you can use spawn force to spring an enemy or spawned object into action when they spawn into the level. Stepping into this room triggers two crate spawners. One crablet has a spawn force set with a five second delay that begins counting down the moment the crablet spawns. The second crate spawner's spawn force is controlled by a zone event indicated by this platform. Spawn force allows you to set the direction and magnitude of the impulse that gets applied to the spawned entity. You can also apply an angular force to the spawned object so that it spins or tumbles through the air. You can even make this angular velocity a random value and simply set the min and max limits. As you alter the velocity values, velocity text and arrow indicators will be drawn in the scene to help guide setting the desired direction and rotation values. For the second crablet, there is no spawn force delay. Instead, the crablet already spawned will only receive its spawn force impulse when the player activates the zone event trigger. Normally, you would only want to set this to be a one-shot event, but I kept it as a repeatable on-enter event for laughs. It may be worth noting that the spawn force events even work on corpses. To really hit home how the new impact properties, physics materials, and spawn force can all be used to add some fun to a map, here's a little crablet vent trap. The surface of the vent floor is frictionless, so the player will slide down it and won't be able to backtrack. At the bottom of the vent, a zone event spawns in a large number of crablets and they all have their own spawn force delays and velocities, giving the impression that they are flooding in from other vents above. Keep in mind that spawn force works for any spawned entity, so those of you who want to make a horror-themed map with haunted items, or maybe a parkour obstacle course with cannons that shoot objects that the player has to dodge, you now have the tools to make that happen. See you in the void.